Okay, I'm going to go for round two with this because I'm not sure how the other one turned out, but... So I've been using graphene for a little over a month now. And you'll notice from, like, my calyx stuff that I've got a couple things different. Some things are missing from this one. There might be a couple different things or new things in it. And part of that is just due to switching things around and kind of moving things to other profiles. So... One, so as I've been, there have been a couple things that I've kind of ran into over the last month that I think I've mostly ironed out. And they're kind of different quirks with workflow and how my workflow has worked. And I kind of has to do with the multiple profiles. So I've gone through and put on multiple different profiles. You probably... Remember that from the Ghost Phone profile video that I did where I installed a bunch of the apps that the Ghost Phone would have had in its app list and things like that. You'll notice that I even have like one or two of those apps in my list here. I am lacking the FF updater, but yeah. So that would be about the only thing because that one has a lot some apps that I would be interested in having here or having access to through that. But yeah, you can see that I've even got some there. And as noted in the oh, Ghost Phone video, I have a Crescent installed. And I've installed Iron Fox through that. And also, I'll probably cover it other, another time, but IVPN as well. And yeah, that's actually a pretty cool service um, what the, with what they have going on. Not enabled currently, but it's pretty cool. So couple different new apps and things like that. So I've had to go through and adapt my workflow. As I mentioned, there have been hiccups with the way my workflow has worked. And that's mostly due to the profile switching. So if I go into here and I look at it again, you can see I've basically got like my fully Googled stuff where I have like mostly games there or a couple other things that require Google Play services. And then I've got basically a work profile going on to where I can keep track of work stuff. And I've basically dialed the work one to be more focused. And it's more for me to focus on basically have everything I need at hand to quickly work on stuff. Now, there are still some quirks with that work one that kind of are iffy, but anyway. So, a couple of things that graphing does that's different from like a lot of things is basically the way it manages the profiles, it basically sets them completely at rest and everything else. The other thing that Graphene OS has hardened is the privacy spaces. It's there in AOSP, but... And it basically gives you a space that you can lock up inside of your main profile to put apps there, hidden apps for who knows what reason. But it basically acts as a whole separate profile. So I can go in here and unlock this. And you'll see that my different apps come up. So I've got Google Play services in here and based one or two things for, for church stuff. I should probably, well, group me for church stuff. I should probably add another app in there for that same purpose, but it's because some of these apps require Google Play services to even work or check things for whatever reason. Group me requires Google services just to log in, which is weird to me, but anyway. So you've got the option for locking it with a pin. I have fingerprints registered to it, but... For whatever reason, it doesn't ask me whenever I unlock it, or I'm just waiting too long before I unlock it. But yeah, I can lock the privacy space automatically each time the device locks, and then I can tell it to basically end the session on lock. So it will lock down the profile, end the session, and basically dump Google Play, service, sandbox Google Play, because that's basically what it's there for, is to sandbox Google Play even further, and make it so that I can turn it on only when I need it and turn it off when I don't. I think most everything here works without me needing Google Play. WhatsApp has been fine for like scam baiting and what have you, but anyway. Or even other work stuff. 
So the other profile that I have is basically the Googled profile. And I've tailored each of these profiles to basically be themed for the purpose that they serve. So you can see that this is mostly games. If I drag up here, it's basically just about anything that requires Google Play to connect to anything. And I can further dial stuff down and knock out the network on them so that after I log in or get things set up, I can just deprive it of whatever. But yeah, so that's what that sits there for. And you can see I've still got the two there otherwise that fulfill are in that function. But yeah, this one's mostly games, obviously. If I dip and lock that, you can see the lock screen is the same way. Like I said, I've themed it and I hardly touch that profile really at all. The one that I've had the most interesting quirks with workflow is the work one. And you can see that it's just really basic. And this one's really different from the others because I've got uLauncher installed on it. And I've got it configured to have a few different shortcuts for a lot of the things that I have do commonly. So I can swipe up and bring all the apps up. I hold to bring up Field Nation, what have you. If I can get the right corner, I've got like favorites in here for stuff. I can drag down and pull up the phone log. I can swipe up there on the side and pull up a map app. I can drag down in the camera. So a couple of these I use a little bit more frequently, obviously. I need to take a lot of pictures, which is why I have to have camera come up like I do. But yeah, I can oh, do stuff with that. I can double tap there to bring up a clock if I need to. I do have a lot less apps in here. I basically keep it to a mostly minimum. There are some apps in here that at this point I could probably remove, like Harbor, for example, or even Calyx VPN at this rate. Some of them I'm going to keep there just because. Um, so you'll notice that like some of the new apps that I have across profiles is this inner profile sharing app. And that's because early on when trying to adjust, I was basically sharing things between profiles, like pictures and stuff that I took to upload things that I needed. And I think I've mostly tailored my workflow to le need a lot less of that. So I can basically either I'm taking redundant photos in different profiles or whatever. But yeah. So I can open up different photos like that, and it's pretty simple in this one. This one, again, is very simple. I didn't do much theming to it, and I picked a minimal launcher just because it's just there for work purposes. So, and it does have Google Play services installed and whatnot. So you, I can share between that and others still if needs be. The reason why I was sharing that way too is because I don't have email set up in that work profile and my email is all set up here. So for certain things, I'm getting emails. And so I definitely have the owner set up to do cross profile notifications. One thing I find interesting about cr the way cross profile notifications work is the fact that it says, hey, this app is sending a notification for this user um, and then it gives you the option to switch to that user in order to see what the contents are. So this is a uniquely Graphene OS feature. So I can go into notification. So I can do dot on app icon, show notifications. Enhanced notifications, let's see, sensitive, is it that one? Get suggested actions, blah, 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 notifications, loud notification snoozing, sensitive notifications, where was it? It's somewhere in here, 
but it's one of those settings that Graphene OS has that lets you... Oh, it's probably actually in... System, users, and yeah, send notifications to current user. So it'll send notifications across it. That's how I know when I'm getting some notifications. It has been interesting with the workflow because I explain to people on the phone, it's like, oh, that's in a different profile on my phone because of the way that I have it set up. And they kind of give me this odd okay thing going on, but yeah. I still make things work and it works out okay. And it kind of does. So certain apps, you can see that certain apps have access to phone calls and SMS. This is the case for work stuff, not the case here. So I can allow the Googled one to run in the background if I really need to switch quickly between stuff, and I kind of do. Again, you've got this choose installed apps option. You can install apps on the fly between different profiles and what have you. So that's basically been a full month of graphing OS. There are still some kinks that I can iron out in my workflow that I'm still kind of working through, like that email one. I should probably get a separate email set up so that I can open that up. Obviously, I don't have FF Updater installed, like I said, to manage other Firefox forks and whatnot. But yeah, for the most part, it's been pretty usable. My battery lasts decently when I'm not like running three different apps at the same time in the background. But that's neither here nor there. So, yeah. Um, it's been pretty interesting to see how long the battery lasts. Even when I'm watching videos sometimes. And the levels of different ways that I can actually enhance the way that things work. So, like, yeah. I think I'll cover that in a separate video, honestly. But yeah, Graphene OS after a month. I find it very usable. I hardly touch the Google profile. Work stuff, it's still kind of some kinks to work out, but yeah. If you liked the content, if you enjoyed it, if you think I deserve it, like, comment, subscribe, leave any criticisms you have or what have you. I appreciate it. Feed that algorithm, like I said, and I will see you guys in the next one.